Question six, which financial statement reflects the accounting equation at a point in time? Could it be the income statement, the cash flow statement, the statement of owner's equity, or the balance sheet? The answer is D. The balance sheet is structured directly on the accounting equation. It gives a snapshot of a business's assets, liabilities and equity at a specific point in time. Question 7. A business has $20,000 in liabilities and $50,000 in equity. What are its assets? Are they $70,000, $30,000, $20,000 or $10,000? And the answer is A. According to the accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus equity. If we add $20,000 in liabilities to $50,000 in equity, then we get $70,000 in assets. Question 8. A business has $50,000 in assets and $20,000 in liabilities. What is its equity? Is it $70,000, $30,000, $20,000 or $10,000? It's B. If we rearrange the accounting equation, then we get equity is equal to assets minus liabilities or net assets. $50,000 in assets minus $20,000 in liabilities is $30,000 in equity. Question 9. The income statement is linked to the accounting equation through assets, liabilities, equity or dividends. The answer is C. The income statement shows a business's revenues and expenses which are used to calculate net profit. Net profit increases retained earnings which is a component of equity. Question 10. Which of the following is not classified as a liability? Prepaid expenses, accounts payable, a bank loan or unearned revenue? It's A. Prepaid expenses are in fact a type of asset. They represent payments made in advance for goods or services to be received in the future. 